In this video, I'm going to teach you how to practice Chopin's Etude, Opus 10, number 10. The scale that he's going to be using is an A-flat major. So we have this note. And sometimes he will base the harmonic patterns on the left hand on an A-flat major. And sometimes on an E-flat 7. The main melody will be this, based on the A-flat major scale. And then he starts adding things to that. That's the main point that you should study first, so you could bring out the melody and be aware of the harmony at the same time. We have A-flat major, and if we do all the inversions, get to this and that's the E-flat major chord that he uses at the beginning the only thing is he splits them on this way that's one of them and then when he goes to E-flat 7 He does this, it's again a variation of the A flat major chord and the E flat 7. Okay, now after I have this, I notice that the song sometimes we bring in the melody on the thumb, sometimes we bring in the melody on the fifth finger in this way. Or sometimes we could do the opposite, we do bring the uh, fifth finger. And sometimes we do triplets. So these exercises are based on that. So that's what we're going to do. So the first one, I'm going to emphasize the thumb each time, which is every other note. So if I play, emphasize, light, emphasize. Notice that I bring out the thumb, which is the melody, and I try first to emphasize the thumb, the first one. Then we'll do the opposite. So I will do emphasize the that or the the chord completely. So I will do this. And then all I do is every two notes, so that means it will give me a triplet. So I emphasize one, two no, and then two more. So that means I do emphasize, 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 emphasize. Okay, I did the triplet. So we did every other note, we did, we changed the order, we did the opposite, and then I do triplet. Why? Because within the song it's going to ask you to do that. It's going to ask you sometimes to bring out the top melody, to bring out the thumb, and sometimes it's going to play triplets, where we don't emphasize as much. The next step is, tr is trying to work already on the speed after you have this. And uh, after we do the speed, we're going to go ahead and work more on the music how to voice it right and things like that. But if you start working on speed, I think the best that we could do to work from opposite is work slow and fast, slow and fast. So that's why this rhythm is going to be the first one 
we're gonna play on A, let's say. The first note, we're gonna play it slow. But then quick to the next one. So we are resting on one, and then quick. take as much time as you want. The thing is playing quickly from one to the next. So if I play A flat, I could take as much time and then I have to play quick. Now the next one is going to be the opposite. So we're going to start from A flat and we're going to go right straight quick to the next one. I'm going to rest on that one. So we'll do this. going to do it a triplet. So I'm going to do first A flat, and then we could do maybe six notes. We rest here, and then we're going to go all the way up to A flat again. So rest. And after this, what I do is maybe try it completely and see if we could handle the notes right all the way through. And uh, if I do, I repeat the same process with the other parts of the song. So then I try like a long sprint. So I do small sprints and then I go for it all the way through. I also use the other fingers for exercises at the beginning and also to help me reading. I think it's very important. The next step is ready once you have the fingers and the notes. You could start uh, in emphasizing the melody. On the first part is we start with an upbeat so we have this mode by itself and then we go to A. And he asked to bring the top note. So I'm going to play slow for you. So we bring the top note now. So first the top note. that top note there. Now later on it's going to ask you to emphasize it every three notes so you could do now we have loud, soft, soft, loud And then there's one last one, which will be emphasizing the thump. He also asked that throughout the entire etude. That will give you a variety of things to do while you're playing, emphasizing different themes. And Another requirement that he has within the song is trying to play short notes, staccato notes in some of the parts. So I will also practice like that. Because it's another requirement on the song. And other than this, now we could say that the song starts piano. As the melody goes up, you could increase a little bit the volume and as, as the melody goes lower, decrease. Of course, this is too general, so it's up to you 
to play with different sounds. So when we go up, more sound. Decreasing the sound. Now we change to a triplet. Crescendo. And at the end he put dolce and diminuendo. So we have to do that. And then it starts over. As far as the left hand, sometimes he he holds that E flat. I think it gives support to the hand to stay here within the range. Same with the E flat seven. beautiful attitude. That's pretty much what I will do. It's true that the left hand is legato the whole time, blend them in, and you could put a pedal every bass note. Sometimes it's not necessary to put it all the way through. Okay? I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoy it, subscribe and like it. Thank you very much.